Are you getting any signal? I, I started yodeling back at about 1989, so I've been yodeling about 15 years, about 25 years, I guess, 25 years. I just listened to some Austrian tapes as I was driving back and forth so that uh, they wouldn't, I wouldn't punish anybody <laughs> as I learned how to do it. So it's just a matter of, uh, of going from your regular voice to a falsetto voice, going over the, the break, and then uh, learning to, to, to speak during that using, using particular syllables. Can you give us a sample? Sure, sure. Just anything that goes to your throat, anything like that? No, it's really pretty smooth. It's it's much better than doing like a, a Louis Armstrong. You know, that's that's kind of rough on the throat. But but yodeling doesn't really doesn't really bother. Was there a learning curve? Oh, definitely, definitely a learning curve. When I, uh, when I first started learning how to yodel, I did a, a, a very easy yodel. It's called uh, Das Kufsteinli, the Song of Kufstein. And what you do, you, you go from your regular voice up to the falsetto, over the break, and then you kind of stay there. So it's not, there's not a lot of moving, it's very slow. So it's, it's very easy, slow, and you could kind of, I could kind of pick it up a whole lot easier than than uh, some of the some of the faster ones. Not everybody can sing. Can everybody yodel? If they can sing, they could yodel. It's a matter of it's a matter of just training yourself to training yourself to do it. You know, it's not only just the, the vocal cords doing it, but then you actually have to have to practice it slow so that you get the uh, the, the tongue, the muscle itself trained to 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 do the to do the yodeling.